Welcome back to Let's Play Bridge. Your house Things are a little over. bit askew. Yeah, I was just noticing that. Is that better? No, I took it a little too far. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's not a leveling feature in this game. Well, no. Why would there be? Can I make it like he's drunk? This is what video games do when you're drunk. This is what video games do in California. <laughs> okay, uh, into door number three. Yes. Although he appears to be in, like, Tuscany or somewhere, so I don't know. Oh, I didn't read what it said. Oh! oh the inversion. Okay, this gimmick. This is a good gimmick. Sort of. <laughs> I like this in uh, zoomed-in view. It actually really holds up in, in a really close-up view. What do you mean? Like, a lot of times the art style on games when oh. you're used to seeing them like this, when you zoom in, it kind of falls apart. Mm -hmm. But this one looked really good. Close-up as well. Alright, let's see where I can go here. Hello. Well, these, uh... These things pulsate a little bit when I stand on top of them. I'm pretty sure there's a button you can press, and I'm surprised... Okay. Yes, it's the A button. Got it. So that just, like, teleports me. Not just. Alright, let's see. Oh, now I'm white. And in here, I am dark. And so if I go back here... Oh, but the door I'm trying to get through is white, so... There you go. So that's the trick, is I have to make sure that I'm the correct color to walk through the door. Yep. Easy enough. Yeah, that the gets time very piece. complicated. Well, I can't imagine they'd have more colors than just black and white. No, in this but game. you'd be surprised at how tricky it can be to manipulate even just those two. For instance, here it's introducing a new concept on top of it. Yeah, I wonder if this white ball won't hurt me. Oh, the white balls float. That's not quite true. Huh. Maybe not float, but are in, in reverse gravity. Exactly. Okay. Well, I can go grab this key. Or can I? Oh, that's annoying. Where's the jump button? Dude, that is super annoying. So this is Can absolutely you fascinating. Your attention is entirely on your character, but I've got, you know, this sort of blurry view that you get when we're streaming and stuff. Um, which means that when then you spin it, all the stuff with you on, on the level your character is completely blurs, and all I can see is the clock face in the foreground, which I bet you hadn't even really noticed until I just pointed it out. Yeah, I hadn't spent much time paying attention to it. Yeah, but there's a moving clock face in the foreground. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, oh, so the white gravity is the opposite of Precisely. the dark gravity. And so that's why it was possible for me to collect that key. Ooh, that was close. I actually don't think it can hurt you if you're not in the same world Color? As I don't know, though. Haven't seen this before. The aftermath. And the screen is shaking. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. This is, That's cute. Uh, Alright. Let's see where we can get to. You know, there's only one thing you can do to start, so... I wonder, that's probably too harsh of a hairpin. You, yeah, huh? you can't go around those, period. You will never be able to do that. Alright, well, here I am. Oh, that's... This doesn't seem challenging at all. Or is it because I can't go through this door? You cannot be white when entering a gray door. Door, door, gray door. Don't get the reference. Uh, it's a Minnesota thing, apparently. I don't get it either, but... Okay, so 
what's the what's the childhood game you play, you know, when you're in kindergarten or whatever, where a bunch of people are in a circle and someone goes around and taps everyone and then one person they tap and then they have to chase them around in a circle before getting back on the seat. Duck Duck Goose? Well, in Minnesota, apparently they call it Duck Duck Gray Duck. <laughs> I swear Why? to God, <laughs> this is one of the single most baffling Midwesternisms I have ever heard. <laughs> like, I've gotten used to pop, although I had some students ask me today, wait, so they really say soda in other places? Oh, key is gone. Okay. Yes, they really do say soda. Yeah, they couldn't so believe fact. it. I mean, it's pop. Oh, that almost worked. I wonder if that might have worked if I just didn't get the timing right. No. Well, shoot. There is almost no timing in this game. Uh, well, now I've got the reverse gravity thing. I wonder if that'll help me. Not sure how that would help me. I could pretty easily get around the outside of this. You can. So this is me hanging out on the outside. Oh, that's going to be bad in a second. Oh, no, that's actually just what I need. Very nice. Huh. I was just yeah. trying to be silly. Well, see, that's the thing. This game has paths that it's it succeeds in being escher like in that the paths are difficult to grasp in your mind like whenever i'm trying to figure out whether walking to the right will eventually get me there i i can never do it by taking a shortcut i always have to really carefully trace the path cuz it just right. doesn't work the way i expect it to yeah it certainly does feel like an art piece. I'm still getting oh, that feeling. Gosh, you know what was happening? The minute hand of the clock in the background was affected by gravity. It was swinging loose. It was oh, really a kind of background subtlety that I didn't pick up on for a long time. Huh. The corridor. Oh, we've got two of these now. Okay. Good news is it's a closed system. Yep. Bad news is this is going to get really confusing really fast. Yep. So, oh, I don't think I can get out of this loop, can nope, I? Nope, not right now. <laughs> That's silly. You inverted right into the ball. Silly. Okay, fair enough. I'll use more caution. No, 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 no. Ooh. You might want to reset this one. That might save you some time. Fair enough. But all my little smudge marks. I know. Well, there's the key, but it's not going to be nice to me. Oh, can't do that. Okay. This is the sort of game where you can mostly solve the puzzles in your head before you start. If you're good enough to keep all the, you know, the pathways and stuff in your head. Yeah. I've never been very good at that. It's hard. Alright. So this was where I wanted to get myself, and I'm here. But now the key is way far gone. It's like it's challenging enough for me to just be able to get myself to a certain position. I'm keeping the key there. Oh, I think I see what's going on here. I could just leave without moving at all. I can, you know, sort of force the key to move faster than I do, maybe? Eh, or no? sort of, maybe. That's not quite what's happening here. Yeah, there's not. that's not going to work out. 
Yeah, I'm but... pretty sure you're gonna need to invert twice to make oh. this work. Okay. What happens if the two balls collide? Um, I have no idea. Let's find out. Or not. Hello. Dang it, they're so fast. Yeah, you, it's not, it's never a timing puzzle. <laughs> Alright, I think these are the only two I can mess around with, and I'm not really seeing the benefit. Yeah, man, this is really tough to figure out how to get myself and the key in the same location. Okay, well, let's see. I think, and I'm resolving this now, so I'm not just hinting. Um, Maybe this inversion does matter. Yes, yes it does, because now walk in a full circle around this inner loop and then go back out. Oh, so Close. Hey, don't worry about it. That's not important. Walk in the, nut, the full circle, and now go back out. Why? What difference did that make? Hang on, one more. Actually, I take it back. You want to do one more circuit? No, that worked. Oh, never mind. I'm. But I'm how brilliant. did that? You are brilliant. What what went on there? What did I miss? Because rotating around that inner one moved the balls to a different position relative to you. Ah. Because I, in their right, original right, orientation, right. once you inverted, you would always be right next to the white ball, and that meant you can't do anything. Uh, so you had I, to yeah. spin the lever. Yeah, I get it now. That's cool. Yeah. That middle one was like a little place to trap myself while exactly. I dealt with the rest. I like this level a lot. I don't specifically remember the solution, but I really like this one. I'm getting a little bit of a Sonic the Hedgehog green green grass pills or whatever that first level was called. I think it's all the little loops I keep running in. Okay. <laughs> sure. You don't get Sonic the Hedgehog from this? No. Wow, there's a lot of... I mean, I know it shares stuff. a lot of similarities in that you're moving really fast and collecting rings and eating <laughs> chili dogs and shit. I don't fucking know. Oh, and you have a god-awful infinitely expanding cast of friends who are helping you. It's a game with a lot of different... A lot of dialogue, you know. The enemy is in a floating spaceship egg. I know. I know. Spoilers. That's coming up a little later in Let's Solve the Bridge. Spaceship egg. All right. Is that like so I've is got that like a ride at Epcot? Spaceship Egg. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. So this is about key collection. There's no danger, other than falling off. The keys are, except for one, all on chains. So this first one seems pretty easy, but maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. I'm wondering if I can, like, trick the key into falling. No, no, there is no trickery. Well, I mean, I get maybe I'm using the wrong The trick. The but... trick is to get yourself to the key with the correct um, color, w with yourself so, in the correct color. Here's something I'm observing. When I'm standing on an arc... I can't simply rotate the world. My character moves. Yep. I'm not making my character I know. move right now. It's a little weird, but... Whereas right here, I can just rotate without moving. Yep. But well, that's that not was, part of... That ruins my whole plan for how I was going to solve the... That's because your plan wasn't a solution. It was a uh, cheap plan. trick. Cheap trick. Yeah. Ouch. Cut me real deep. That right. is... Yeah, you can't do anything from there except go back. You cannot make that hairpin. It's not uh, quite a hairpin. I almost made it. I was really close. I should try again. Probably. Okay. Right. Here's what I would suggest... Solution that, time. Here's what I would suggest that you do, because there's a lot of inverter points, and it's really easy to get turned around. Start... Just look at the world, maybe rotate it so that the key you want to get to is sort of on top, and then trace a route 
backwards from the key to you. Okay, so let's go for the one on the on the top there, to be top. Okay. I need to be gray for that to work. Correct. So let's just see here. Alright. So where am I? I'm right here and I'm trying to So this uh very Wait, you're wall gray that right, I'm now? On right Matt, now, Matt, Matt, you're yes, gray. Yes I am. Walk to the left. Yep. Hmm. Oh, clever. Okay, so this gets me on the outside of it. Hey there, little key. Okay, so now you have to go through two inverters and get back to where you started. Really? One in one inverter. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, there it is. No, two, because now I'm white. Can I grab it while I'm white? I probably can't. What color was the key? The key is gray. Oh, why couldn't you grab it when you were gray? I was on the other side of it. I was on the outside of it. You were? Okay, I must just not be able to see the level clearly enough. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. My character is on the outside oh, of this loop. Oh, I was looking at the, the, the one hanging the from the chain. No. Oh, but that's a, a thing that I can go after as well, so good point. But I do need to find a way to invert myself correctly to get to that. Wait, the one... Wait, what happened if you kept walking left just there? Uh, well, now I'm white. Hang on, go back, re-invert, and walk to the left. Oh, yeah, that works. Clever. I can't keep switching the keys I'm going after, huh? Sorry, Gotta yeah, that was my focus. bad. I realized what happened is I mistook the lamp post for the key. Ah. All right, so there's uh, one more gray one right in here that I'm going to go after on the left side. Let's and a white one can... above it. I see that now. Let's see if I can conveniently get myself there. Oh, this will work for the white one. Okay. Ah, so it will. Yeah, the cool thing about this level is that almost any point is reachable from any other point without using any inverters. Hmm. Yeah, I wish it was possible to... Every time I, I get myself into one of these T-intersections, I want to, like, press a button and fall through. But, mm. but just yeah, if you convert you. to gray right in that center one, you should be able to simply find oh, yeah. a walking route from where you are to where you need to be. Oh, or in, it may even be trivial. <laughs> That's another possibility. Uh, and now I need to... So, find a walking route to this last key, which is here by the lamp post on the left, so... Remember that you can drop off the outer edges of those two hook things. Yeah, that's incomplete. exactly where I need to go. Nailed it. Did you ever play a game called Echo Chrome? No, but I'm familiar with it. I've seen it. That's when we have to, like, rotate images until they look... Uh -huh. Right from the right angle or something, and then it, there's like a platforming element as well. Yeah, I don't know why, I just am reminded of it now. I think it's because their logo is like uh, one of those art dolls, sort of like this guy is. Hmm. Like the, the figure drawing Okay, walking dolls. to the right is not going to get you anywhere you... Oh, hang on. Nope. Never mind. I'm dumb. Well... That is yet to be seen. Um, okay. So if I'm stuck in the middle here, there's not much I can do, but I, oh, I could just walk off the edge down here. Nope. Damn, I keep forgetting. You can only walk off the edge on the ones that crumble. And you can only walk off the outer edge on those, yeah. I couldn't walk off the edge of this. Oh, hang on, hang on, right walk left. Here. Walk left. And maybe I'll hit an inverter? No, just keep walking left. That's the solution, is walk left. Oh, yeah, there it is. I think... Actually, I may be wrong about that. We'll have to see. No, I think you're right. I wonder if that's, like, always the solution. Like, <laughs> you know when you're in a maze, you could put your hand on the right-hand wall and just keep walking, and eventually, for most mazes, you'll you'll escape? I wonder if you could do that here. Huh. Oh, no! I wonder Jumped, how... Can you, did can I you, jump too far? Or? Can you reverse time? 
Yeah, let's see. Maybe I did that wrong. Try rotating it as much as you can first before falling off. Because if we can fall off to right below you, that's ideal. No, that seems pretty strict. Darn. Um. Hmm. I do need to invert somewhere, though. Maybe, uh... No, but you're the right color, aren't you? I am, but I need to get inside somehow, okay, right? That so inverter is not helpful. What about this? Yeah, try that one. See what happens. That's... No, you, try inverting at that one that you just passed. Yeah. Okay. Um... Hang on. Hang on. Oh, this works. Walk no, you're right. wrong color. You're the wrong color. No! Um. You know what? I'm going to do it, though. I'm just going to get to the door, and maybe there'll be an easy way to invert once I'm there. Wait a second. Wait. Stop. Pause. Look at it. Follow the path and think for a moment. Uh... Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I see what you're saying. I'll de this will definitely get me there as the wrong color. Mm -hmm. But what if we go the is... other way? What options do we have then? You'd fall off, then you'd be down there. Then you could. What if you and if you went that direction? Oh yeah, that, that's exactly what I need to do. You're brilliant. There's an inverter that I'm gonna hit, and then I'll be good. Ah. You're right. Perfect. And the solution was walk left. Yep. Yeah, this is a game that sometimes it can help to just kind of blunder through, but often stopping and forcing yourself to think through the steps and the paths is what you need to. Yeah. And I like that I like level. I like that level a lot. Yeah, that was a good uh, good advice to pick where I am and where I want to go and try and just draw a line between them. Because thinking about it in simple steps like that is more helpful than what I was trying to do. So I would recommend splitting the video because this was about 23 minutes or so, and the next level is going to be even longer. So if we want to keep them manageable, I think this is a we can we might want to keep it to one world per video. Oh, that's fair. I'd like to try and find out where the next one's going to be, though. Wouldn't you? Do you think we could do that? And then... Sure. Because I did explore the rest of the world. Oh, an inverter. Interesting. Because I explored, and I found that there was really just this house mm -hmm. and that tree. But here, I found IV. Oh, and I can go even deeper, too. I'm going to explore a little bit more. Okay. Similar to a Sonic oh. the Hedgehog... Similar to a Sonic the Hedgehog game, um, you really can't go much farther than you've opened up. It only lets you go one level at a time. <laughs> I must have to get some more rings before I can come back here. No, you just have to beat the levels. You know. Just defeat that, that last boss. Yep, and then... yep. It's kind of cool. I can see some scribblings on the wall. It's like a little bit of a descent into madness here. Uh huh. But yeah, but it's very much it's it's a Sonic thing as opposed to a Mario thing where you only have to solve a certain number of levels, you know, before moving on to the next world. Yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. I think I saw tails flying around in the background over there too. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. There's it's, probably it's, a crossover. This is basically Sonic. It might be in the same universe. <laughs> we haven't ruled that out yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, join us next time for more Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog's Bridge Between Two Worlds. Bridge versus Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just going to stop. Okay. I'm just going to check my pocket watch here. Okay. And stop. Cool. <laughs> See you next time. See ya.